At some point of time, we all have entered the converter hell. Sure, they are sometimes really useful, but hunting for the converter that works properly can be time consuming. This is especially the case for multimedia files. See, there are many multimedia formats, and various programs only accept certain ones. So we need to make conversions every now and then. To make it more efficient and easy process, we can use FFmpeg instead. FFmpeg is basically a software which enables us to make operations with multimedia files. Using it is very beneficial because it has huge library of multimedia file formats and large variety of operations to be performed. So let's get started by installing it. We can obviously head over to FFmpeg organization's website and download the FFmpeg from there. But in this case, I will be using Chocolatey, which is a package manager. You can learn more about package managers from the top right corner. Anyway, I use choco install ffmpeg command to install the ffmpeg. Once that's done, we can access it directly from our command prompt or PowerShell. Now, let's look at few functionalities and conversion operations that we can perform. As you can see, I have a sample fire video. It is currently formatted in MP4. So let's convert it to other formats, for example, AVI. To make the conversion, we start with ffmpeg commands followed by dash i. This stands for the input. Then we pass the video that we want to convert. In our example, it is fire.mp4. Then we give the name and output format, which is fire.avi. And finally, we hit enter and let it make the conversion. Now we got the converted file, but we have a problem. And that is poor quality. If we compare both videos side by side, you can see that the AVI version has some blockiness, especially around the fire. To fix that issue, all we had to do is while making the conversion, we pass the argument qscale0 property, which basically tells FFmpeg to preserve the quality. Now let's try again. As you can see, this time we have the exact same quality. This is pretty nice, but we are obviously not limited by making video conversions. Let's say we want to extract audio from a video. That is really easy task with ffmpeg. All we had to do is use the ffmpeg-i fire.mp4 and fire.mp3 command. We can also do more interesting stuff like turning a video into a GIF. Again, we can simply do that by ffmpeg-i fire.mp4 and fire.gif command. You get the idea. All of the conversions are great, but ffmpeg can do much more than that. You can even make basic editing using ffmpeg. To demonstrate it, let's continue with our latest GIF conversion example. Let's say we want to make a GIF from certain time interval. We can easily do that by passing the parameters SS and T. SS means starting time and it is in hours, minutes and seconds format. T means duration which is in seconds passed after the starting time. So, in our example, if we want to make a GIF from 6th second to 10th second, all we have to do is use the following command. ffmpeg-i fire.mp4 dash ss 000006-t4 fire.gif If we go ahead and execute that command, we get a GIF file as expected. And as we can see, it is exactly 4 seconds. And by doing that, we basically conclude this video. In the end, ffmpeg is a very comprehensive program and we can do many things with it. This video is just a basic introduction and demonstration. So, give it a try, you will find it really useful once you get used to it. Also, I highly suggest you to grab a FFmpeg cheat sheet and copy it into easily accessible place, like desktop, so you can make conversions and multimedia operations very quickly. I will provide some links in the description as a starting point. And I hope you've liked this video. If that is the case, please make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. See you next time. Take care.